what exactly I was doing in Garberville, and I've tried to remember, and I really don't know. That's what you said, correct? Correct. So your statement is right now that that was a lie. You were deliberately lying because you did remember. Is that correct? I lied to you. That doesn't count. Oh, wait, 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 let me understand this. So lying to myself and police officers doesn't count. Can you please explain that? Lying to you does not count. Did you have your fingers crossed like under the table? So that's why it doesn't count? What does it mean it doesn't count? It doesn't count. I was working on a plea bargain with you. So would you agree, Mr. Durst, that other than your words about this person, Danny, and buying this marijuana, that there is no other evidence in this case other than your statement that it happened? Is that correct? When I got back to Trinidad, I sold approximately a quarter pound of my pound to a guy I knew in Trinidad. Who was that person? Gregory something or other. How exactly would we locate Gregory something or other? How would you locate him? This was 20 years ago. I don't know how to locate him. And you agree, Mr. Durst. By the way, have you ever mentioned, even in this testimony? Nobody ever asked me if I used the whole pound myself or if I sold parts of it. Mr. Durst, you're a multimillionaire. Why would you be selling marijuana? Why not? I don't know, it's a felony? You could go to prison? Well, they tried that in Louisiana and decided that they didn't want to charge me with distributing marijuana. Because, Mr. Durst, you don't buy marijuana to sell it, you buy marijuana to smoke it, correct? I buy marijuana to smoke it. Have you or ever... a friend of mine wants some, I'm happy to sell him some. So, you're so generous with your friends that being a multimillionaire, if they want marijuana, you won't give it to them, you're going to sell it to them. If they want a joint, I'll give them a joint. If they want a quarter pound, I'll sell them a quarter pound. Do, do you mark it up when you sell it? Do you make a profit on it? No. So, how many times in your life have you sold marijuana? A dozen. A dozen? Or, or dozens. And, and Mr. Durst, why would you be selling marijuana when you're a multimillionaire? I just told you. Somebody wanted more than a very small amount. I would charge them for it. <laughs> Mr. Durst, do you understand that there are legal consequences for selling marijuana that are different than just smoking marijuana or giving marijuana away? I just went through that the same day I did the interview with you, and Louisiana decided not to charge me with distributing marijuana because they felt it was ridiculous. Mr. Durst, there was no allegation in marijuana that you sold anything. You just had a large amount of marijuana with you, correct? Correct. So you're asking this jury to believe, I just want to make sure I understand this, that in addition to the story that you said about Danny and the kids and the farm, et cetera, that now you took some of that marijuana back and you sold a quarter of it to somebody, what was his name again? Gregory. Gregory something or other, correct? Correct. All right, let me move on. 